Everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and my beautiful baby daughter. <gasps> Look at her little belly. And today, I'm very excited because this big box from Walmart came, and inside are my Miraculous dolls. And I missed out on the first round of Miraculous dolls because, honestly, I wasn't that impressed with them. The Bondi dolls, they came out in, like, what, 2017? I just didn't think they were very good. I don't know. Um, so every time I saw them in stores, I just ignored them. These showed up on Walmart.com. I bought them in a flash because... The Zombies doll showed up on Walmart.com, and in my brain I was like, I want to get them in person, I'll wait till they show up in stores. And then they sold out immediately and never came back. And never showed up in stores. So, wasn't taking that chance with the Miraculous dolls. So, I got all four of the ones that showed up on the site, and I'm very, very excited about them. I've been a big fan of Miraculous since it came out. I kind of fell off, though. I didn't watch the most recent season when it came out. It's marked as a season that it's not on Netflix. I think it's season three. Um, I didn't watch it just because, I don't know, I don't even know when it came out, but I watched it the other day after I ordered my dolls and I was like, the show got better. Usually, like, kid shows, kid shows, I'm not trying to say like it's only for kids, but you know, it's targeted at kids. Kid shows generally get worse with age, but Miraculous got so much better. Oh my god, like, I loved it so much. So... I'm really excited for the next season, and of course for my Miraculous dolls, and they're in here! I'm so excited! So, we're just gonna get right in. Um, I guess first we'll open all ya- <gasps> You didn't hear that, right? Rena Rouge. Um, or I guess I'll show them all to you first, so here is Rena Rouge. You can pronounce it either way. Oh, the back card is adorable. <laughs> What's going on here, though? <laughs> God, that's really nice art. I really like that. And you've got PlaymatesToys.com. You've got the Facebook, Instagram, the website. It's very Disney store looking back card, though. And Miss Alia. I do think they did the worst job on her face out of all these dolls, in my opinion, but that's not saying much because they all look amazing. Next is Adrian, Cat Noir. Oh, Plague looks really cute. They have him with like a like a nefarious looking face. <laughs> it's so cute. Of course, his back card is the same, but the sides of the boxes actually have, like, the characters, like, wrapped around to the front. And he has a really cute, like, asymmetrical smile on his face. I'm just really impressed with, um, the, the way Playmates did these dolls, because I, I can't think of, like, an amazing doll line they've done. Ooh, Marinette looks so good! Of course she has to. And she has Tiki in there. So cute! Oh, I'm so excited about these. Oh, I, I didn't see Trix. Is, yeah, Trix is in here. So cute. I'm so excited. And then, of course, Queen Bee. Looking adorable in there. Hi, Chloe. I love the really dynamic pose she's got going on. I'm so excited, I'm sorry. These are just so cool. I cannot wait for more to show up because I know these came out like last year, like over six months ago in Australia and like Europe. So I'm just really glad that it's finally my turn. It's finally our turn in the US. If they're still available on walmart.com, I'll put the link in the description to where I got them. I'm so excited. It's interesting, um, Chloe's Miraculous, instead of putting it in her hair, they just have it right there, and I'm worried that that means it's not gonna sit in her hair correctly, because why would they have not just stuck it in there? A little nervous. Um, I guess I'll open Chloe first, so I'm going to cut away, and when we return, Chloe will be out of the box. To open. I kind of did it the hard way by just cutting around, but I wanted to be able to keep it perfect where I could just do that, basically. In case these don't show up in stores, I want to keep the boxes so that I can pop the dolls back in if I want to, just because these are really, really cute. Also, something I noticed while I was opening her, it says Zag Heroes. It doesn't just say Miraculous. I desperately want Pixie Girl to exist. I just kind of figured the project was abandoned, because wasn't she supposed to... Wasn't her show supposed to premiere in, like, 2019? What happened to that? I really hope that this means Playmates got the licensing rights to do future endeavors as well, like Pixie Girl, and there were more, but Pixie Girl's the one I want so bad. I want it so bad. Um, but anyway, this box is empty, so you know what that means. 
I haven't really played with or touched the doll at all yet, so you're going to get my true first impression on her. First, I want to show you her accessories, because she actually comes with quite a few. So, first you get her... I honestly do not know what her equivalent to Lucky Charm is called. Or, it's kind of like... I don't know. The the special miraculous ability. It's the, it's the thing that lets her, like, stinger people. <laughs> Venom, maybe? It's... I don't know. That's the wasp, I think. But, it's cute. It's on a string. It's nice. Um, and then her Miraculous, unfortunately, I hate these so much when dolls do this. It's one of those, like, soft hair clips. These fall right out. They, it's just a mess, but it's really well done. I just don't understand why they didn't just do a comb, because a lot of dolls do combs, like, on tiaras and stuff, and it works really well. Honestly, though, you could cut this to make it actually be a comb. I might. <laughs> and then here's Pollen. Pollen, I think, out of the ones that I've looked at closely... Um, I haven't looked at any of them too closely because I want to open them and have my first impression. I think Pollen looks the best. She's really cute. <laughs> Alright, and then here's Chloe. We can say her name because she leaked her identity anyway. Um, these dolls are fully articulated. I was thinking they would be more articulated than, like, your standard Barbie, but I wasn't expecting every joint. Seems like the wrists aren't, like... Are the wrists just a twisty joint? I'm scared to try because there's like tape over her wrist for some reason. I don't know. Um, her face is darling and it has a little mask on it. I hope we get a like just regular Chloe doll. She's very loose. I hope all of them aren't like this, but you see what I mean? Like she's interestingly loose for a doll. I love her hair. It's not too glued at all. It seems like they just did a really good job curling it. And it's actually like really curled around itself. It's really pretty love that and um pulled into the back and then up into the ponytail to give her like a hairline she's really pretty it's really interesting oh and she even has like little dangly bits here i'm impressed that there's not a lot of hair gel in here because this is a really nice big curl i love that i'm also really really surprised because her outfit is fully sewn and done they really could have just painted it on it looks really good and it's made out of a stretchy material. The different pieces that are sewn together all line up really nicely. Like, they're slightly off, but pretty, pretty near perfect, which I'm very impressed by. Sewing bodysuit seems like such a pain. And these dolls, I feel like, were 20 each, maybe 15 each, honestly. They were really cheap. Didn't I think I paid 60 for all of them, so I think they were $15 each. At that price point, that's crazy, especially for 2021 standards. Unfortunately, though... This is my biggest pet peeve. I don't know why every single doll does this. Just just make the boot a little higher or the pant a little longer. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But, oh, I hate when they do that. It's interesting that these seem to be fashion dolls, basically. Like, they're, they're very much made so you can change their clothes and stuff, which is awesome. I love fashion dolls. But the masks don't come off, so, like, and they're gonna make dolls of them in their basic outfits, so that's very interesting. But I'm sure you can get play value out of that, too. Um, and then putting her Miraculous in is going to be a chore, and it's gonna mess up the hairstyle. You know? I'm really disappointed by the Miraculous, but other than that, everything is perfect on this doll, and I'm thoroughly impressed. Aw. Leggy's like, I wanna play! Miraculous is my favorite show, Mom! You wanna play with my new doll, Mama? Oh my god, she's so cute. I love you. You love the Chloe doll, Mama? Is Chloe your favorite character? She says, no, Mama, Chloe's not my favorite character because Chloe's a bad girl. She's mean to her friend. You're such a nice girl. Okay, next we're gonna open Marinette. Sorry, Ladybug. The best. Anyone. Okay, Marinette's out of the box. Um, She's less floppy. Than Chloe, so I think my Chloe's just a little bit of a dud. It's totally fine. I don't really mind. Um, man, that looks so cute. I'm so relieved. If y'all saw the the Miraculous dolls that came out a few years ago, you know what I'm talking about. But like, they were cute, but they were just a little bit off. And I'm very happy to say that like, these look so much like the show. They did such a good job on the face paint. They are so cute. Also, I love these little pigtails. They cut them into a shape that makes them actually look like they do in the show. Usually when you give dolls pigtails, okay, so in real life, your hair is thicker at the top and it thins out at the bottom because you have more hair growing in at the top and less at the bottom because, you know, your hair falls out and stuff. So 
I don't really have super long hair, so I can't really show you too well, but your hair, like, comes to points at the end, kind of. Like, not not exactly like in a cartoon, but that's how Marinette's hair looks in the show, you know? It, like, comes to an end. It's not blunt like Musa from Winx in season one, where her hair's, like, really blunt. And in the doll, they actually cut the hair triangularly so it would look more like it does in the show. My Mine has uh, uneven pigtails, but... There, now they're even! Yay! Okay. Um, she also has her Miraculous, and they do come out, so, or, yeah, they do come out, so you could play out your Hawk Moth fantasies. Wouldn't that be so cool if they made a doll of him? I know they won't. Comic-Con's not a thing, so it's even less likely that they would, but, oh, that'd be so cool. Um, Marinette's outfit is a lot easier than Chloe's, because they don't have to line up the, the lines, but it looks great. I love the little turtleneck. It looks just like it should. I want to test out the wrists now. I just... I can't... Do they come off? It seems like it's just a twisty joint on the wrist. I'm not gonna try it because I really don't want to break these. I just got them, but like... Isn't that weird? Ah, uh, the edges aren't hemmed, but I think this is not a fraying fabric, so we should be okay. Her shoes are the exact same as Chloe's and have the exact same problem. I honestly want to like glue them in place because I'm not gonna be taking the doll's clothes off. Ugh, it drives me nuts. But I can forgive it because, oh my god, she's so cute. Seriously, look at her face. I love you, Christina V. Homura oh, Akemi. <sighs> uh, she looks so good. I'm really happy with her. I can't wait to get the Marinette doll, too. Because I bet these faces look even better without the masks on. They're so cute. Cannot wait to set up a display with these two. There's a playset coming. It's already out in other countries, I think. That's Marinette's little balcony bedroom thing. I want that so bad. I want it so bad. I cannot wait for these to show up at stores. Also, the posability on these dolls is really impressive. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a ankle joint, an ankle joint, because they're kind of like action hero dolls, you know, but it's totally fine because they're, they are fashion dolls. I get it. And they don't have the joint here, but they are very mobile in the hip because of their like hip to thigh range here. Um, and they have really fantastic joints here. Double jointed knee, actually well done. Rainbow High, take your notes, please. So they, they're super posable and the they also have double jointed elbows. I think the reason they went ahead and went for that, because usually dolls won't do that because it's an unsightly joint, is because most of the dolls are gonna be like this. And maybe honestly the the casual outfit dolls will have different joints. I don't know. Oh, her accessories are tiki, which um tiki looks like bigger than pollen. See? Like way bigger ahead. Um, but here's Tiki. I don't think Tiki looks amazing here. I hope that the blind bag, uh, Kwamis are this size so that I can get a better looking Tiki. And then here's Ladybug's little multi-tool. I really don't remember if these had a name or something. Cause, Mer I don't know. Uh, but here it is. Wouldn't it have been cute if she came with like a bunch of weird lucky charms? Like a, like a lamp or something. <laughs> like you could play with that. But obviously you could play with anything as the lucky charm. Any of your other doll accessories. That's what's fun. Um, and here they are. They're best friends. God, I love the way they developed Chloe's character in the most recent season. In season three. I love the way she's just a fan. And you get to see how her like home life is. And in the episode where her mom comes to visit her. And she's like mimicking her and stuff. That was so cute. Anyway. Talking about Chloe again. Um, next. Oh yeah, she's free. She's probably my favorite design in terms of the like main miraculous holders that show up really often. I just think her whole design looks amazing. I don't know. Uh, I really wish we would get like a Lila Rena Rouge doll. Obviously, I hate Lila, but she's really pretty, and also it'd be really interesting to have both for like for play value. I don't know. I feel like there would be a ton of really cool doll opportunities here, so I really hope these dolls are successful. I'm just worried because they've been out for so long and I don't know if there was a wave two. Maybe this was wave one and then wave two was the everyday outfits. I don't really know for sure. Uh, but anyway, here is Rena Rouge. Alia, when when I first watched the show, Alia was my favorite character. I don't know who my favorite character is now, to be honest. I would have to really think about it. She's really cute. I think Alia is adorable in the show. Brett absolutely hates her, so I guess we have a polar opposite taste. I think, well, like, hates her appearance. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he says she, he hates the mole, but she doesn't have the mole in this form. 
She's really cute. I'm not a big fan of the eyebrows, but I think that is accurate. Uh, and the hair color, it's not 100% right. It's it's fine, but it clashes really harshly with the, the orange in the outfit. But she still looks so cute, and her eyes are really nice. I think they did such a good job on the eyes. Um, her outfit is really interesting. So you have the... This is just the normal fabric that's used on the rest, and then this is like an iron-on material... Uh, which is kind of like a vinyl for the black and the white pieces here, but not here or the turtleneck. And then down here, it's just the same material as the rest of the outfit as well. She has the worst high water problem out of all of them, but that's probably... Um, it's probably just whichever doll you get, you could get lucky or you could get unlucky. She's also... she has floppy legs, but not her head. See, my Chloe just has really floppy head. Uh, I just don't know why that is. I'd have to look at the neck joint. She's adorable. I really love the the little bangs. All of them have it for some reason. It looks good. Like, it really emphasizes how cute their ears are in the mold. I, these are just absolutely darling. I think Playmates really killed it with these. Uh, and then of course the tail, which I love in the show. I think the tail looks so cute on this outfit. I, that's the thing about Ladybug is her outfit is like the lamest one. Why doesn't she have like little wings? Even though she doesn't use them, like wouldn't it be cute just to have little wings? I don't know. I don't know. She could also use them because they basically fly. She just like swings like Spider-Man. Uh, anyway, Alia also has a really nice big ring ringlet curl, and hers is just like Chloe's, where it's like, it's wrapped around itself multiple times to give you like a really neat appearance, and it, it has a little bit of gel, but almost none. It's really squishy and nice and soft, and you could brush it. Um, their hair quality is not like the best, but it really works for what it is, and especially since their hair is styled and meant to stay styled, I think it's perfect. Because it has that rougher texture that makes it easier to style. I feel like the highest quality nylon and saran hair is almost too difficult to style because it's so smooth. I don't know if that's just me, because I'm bad at doing doll hair. And she actually has the same hairstyle going on as Chloe, except Chloe's is kind of off to the side. All right, and then her accessories, of course she has her Miraculous. Lila be like, it's my grandmother's necklace. There it is. And then she has this flute, the like little illusion flute. I'm not sure how well you could get her to play it, especially cause her wrist. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, you probably need the other hand for the notes, right? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, it just looks like she's like holding onto a bar. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. I mean, it's a fashion doll. I think that's pretty good. And then Trix is my favorite out of all the Kwamis we've opened so far. And I'm not sure if I really loved Plague when I looked at him in the box. So I think Trix is my favorite. So Trix and Pollen look about the same scale. They definitely are slightly different in terms of the head, but like Tiki's just bigger than the others. It's very weird. Um, I feel like these were molded independently of each other and nobody consulted the other when they were molding them. They were just like, does this mold look good? Okay, let's do it. But they didn't like compare them to the others. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe Tiki's just a big Kwame. I just hadn't noticed that before. Uh, lastly is Adrian and we're gonna get him out of the box. All right, see you then. Here's Plague. So I like that they tried to give Plague a facial expression like this and he does make this face a lot, but the mold still has these like creepy bulging um, like eyes, like normal circular eyes molded in. So it looks a little bit scary. But he is cute. He almost looks like his head is articulated, but I don't think it is. But it kind of holds, I don't know. Um, I also, one of my favorite parts of Plague's design are those little, those long things that are basically the whiskers. And they're really short here, obviously, because they would not stay on if they were long. They would fall off or like, come off. Um, and he also has one here too. Sorry, I'm making sure. I don't know. I feel like Plague did not translate well, unfortunately. I hope the blind box figure of him turns out better. He is still cute though. I'm not trying to be like evil or anything. Um, and then here is Adrian's little bow staff thing. It's not expandable or anything, but why would you expect it to be? And compared to him, it's tall enough to like touch the ground. He likes to lean on it and stuff. So it's big enough to do that. Um, okay. So Adrian also has the flappy legs. I'm kind of wondering if they have elastic strung hips. I guess I could try to check, check Marinette. I think she'll be the easiest to look at. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. 
No, they're not elastic strung. See, that's weird. Huh. Okay. Um, this is what their articulation looks like, if you were wondering. Anyway, uh, Adrian has an equal amount of articulation. Very good. He doesn't actually have foot like you would think he does. Interesting. Usually boy dolls do just by... Was he posed like that in the box or did I accidentally do that? Oh, I did because I was testing it out. It looked like he was messing with his hair. Um, his hair is molded into the style it is in the show. I completely understand why they did this. I don't mind that personally because what would I have done with this hair? You know, I wasn't going to style it or play with it or anything. Um, also, Brooke adding a boy doll willingly to her collection? What? Yeah, I did. I really regret not getting Bo from She-Ra. Um, because I do like him and I really, really loved the She-Ra show, so... Every time I saw him on clearance and left him behind, I'm kind of kicking myself for now. Anyways, he looks great. His eyes are adorable. I love his little uneven smile. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, the little bell on his outfit. His outfit is much higher quality than everyone else's, which is honestly shocking to me because he's the boy doll. But Miraculous is kind of a... I know these are dolls, but I feel like these will appeal to any child. I don't know. Um, I love, I love his outfit. They, re they even added embroidery on it. Like, I'm actually really stunned by this. I don't know. I guess his outfit does look more like latex in the show, so they kind of had to. And then he has, he has the only shoes that aren't just the same shoe mold as well. He has the big cat feet shoes. Like, I think they put the most effort into Cat Noir, which is really interesting. Have I just been calling him Adrian this whole time? Shh. <laughs> um, his little belt tail thing is also here and looks great um it's long and i feel like he could hold oh he also has little bracers what the heck why is he so much better than the others i'm, I'm actually really surprised um and then his miraculous doesn't come out okay so his miraculous doesn't come out so adrian's good like we're not gonna find out who he is his daddy's not gonna take his ring away like he's safe it does not come out that's weird that it doesn't, though, because doll rings are exactly like earrings, but it's totally fine. Um, his head is only a swivel joint, while everyone else's are on ball joints. I don't know why that is. I guess, I guess because of the mold, the male body mold. It's kind of disappointing, though, that he is substantially less articulated than the others, then. Because being able to swivel your head is kind of a big deal. It's part of what brought fish to land to create the amphibians, was being able to do this. I'm, I'm so sorry, that was a really weird thing for me to do. Hi! <laughs> um, okay, so Cat Noir is the best out of all the dolls, and I'm saying that, so it really means something because you know how I feel about boy dolls. Um, now I'm going to show you Plague next to the other Kwamis because... So, Plague and Tiki are the same size. They actually fit. And then Trix and Pollen are smaller. Trix is the smallest. It's very weird. I don't know. I love Trix's little pose, though. I do think Trix turned out the best. Pollen also looks amazing, but um, Pollen's design isn't as cute to me as Trix's. Mm, can't wait for that bunny miraculous. I don't remember her name at all. Um. <sighs> Oh, but they're so cute. I really love these dolls. I'm going to cut away for a second so I can put Marinette's clothes back on. Hold on. It's all miraculous up. I love these dolls. I'm really happy with this purchase. $60 was a steal for all of these. I really, really love them, and I'm so happy to have them in my collection. I think they're adorable. These dolls are incredibly well done and super cute. Um, I think the best one quality-wise is definitely Cat Noir, which is really surprising because normally... From what I can see on the shelves and also from speaking to a toy designer directly, I learned that boy dolls are the ones they put the least amount of budget and effort into because they know they're not going to sell as well. So it seems like Playmates is trying to wager the, um, I'm going to say the male demographic, but that's just in terms of um, industry terms. I'm not trying to say dolls are f specifically female, okay? I really hope you understand that. I think Playmates is trying to wager the male demographic, male demographic again. Um, by making a really nice looking action figure that also probably explains why he doesn't have mold, um, he doesn't have rooted hair. I think my favorite of these, I just, I think Marinette turned out really good and I love Marinette's design. Um, and I can't wait to get, cause I'm, Ladybug's design is honestly pretty boring to me. 
Um, but I just cannot wait to see these eyes and this adorable face mold without the mask on. I think it's going to look great. I also am pretty surprised that the masks are like separately molded pieces. Like they're not just painted on. They're not just painted on. They're raised. I don't know if you can tell, but it really helps like sell it that they're wearing these masks and they, they just look so good. I'm really happy with these. <laughs> Thoroughly impressed. I can't wait for more. I can't wait. If they do more, I want Kagami, I want Antibug, I want... Would they do Cat Blanc? Because I feel like they wouldn't because he's, like, older. But, like, how much older was he? Because... <sighs> I forgot the bunny one's name. Anyway, the Bunnix. Oh my god, so obvious. Bunnix was substantially older than her past self, so, like... But Cat Noir and Marinette looked the same... I don't even know. <laughs> Here they are. I'm in love with these. I'm so excited and I can't wait for more to come out. And Playmates is doing an amazing job on these. And I can't wait to see more dolls from Playmates, honestly. I'm gonna look into the other dolls that they've made now because I'm... I want more like this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.